I would like to talk to you today about how I ended up here and why this journey. Two years ago, I decided to retire from my job of 20 years so I could work on a book I was writing and to live more of a life of service. A month after I left my job, COVID happened and my kids were out of school. As a mom, my family comes first, so I put away my book and I became their teacher. During that year, I not only struggled with the pandemic like everyone else, I struggled spiritually too. What was God's purpose for me? Why did he have me quit my job just to bring me here? I was so confused and frustrated. So last year when things started to open up more and my kids went back to school, I decided to take on the world and make up for lost time. I began to work hard on my book, volunteering every chance I got and doing everything I had set out to do the year prior. My life was so full of all good stuff, but I still didn't feel like it was God's plan. I kept getting this feeling inside, an idea, that God wanted me to start a woman's group. But I quickly shut that thought right down, pushed it aside, and told myself I was completely unqualified to do that. So instead, I searched other groups, and I ended up visiting the Franciscans and the Carmelites. I loved their orders and how they ran their groups, but I knew in my heart it wasn't where I was supposed to be. The whole time I was searching, that little idea kept talking to me, but I kept saying no. Then one day I was talking to a friend about our kids and she said to me, the most important job we have as mothers is getting our children to heaven. That if we do nothing else, but we achieve that, we have done everything. That hit me hard. I began to examine my vocation as a wife and mother. Am I doing this to the best of my ability? At the end of the day, can I say that I did everything that was in my power to get them to heaven? The answer was no. So how was I going to make their salvation a priority in my life? What better way than to start a woman's group dedicated to praying for husbands and children? I could finally see his plan. I decided to say yes, push all my fear aside, and told myself he is qualified. That little seed he planted has now blossomed and turned into Monica and Moms. Has he planted a seed in you? Pray about it.